Hey everyone, today I'll be starting the development of another game. Now this game will be a unit management game and a real-time strategy game. Basically you have units, uh, like the one that I'm drawing right now, and those units will automatically fight other units, and your job is to design the army composition so you get the maximum amount of damage. Uh, there will also be leveling and campaigns, and yeah, I've been trying to make this game for a while now, but I didn't know what to start with. I tried to make a similar game in Unity, but I found it was very hard to do. So instead of Unity, I'm going to be learning an entirely new game engine, a Godot, to make this game. I found that it was more ladder and easier to work with, so I'm going to be using that. So right now, I'm going to be doing the art assets first, and um, I'm also learning pixel drawing, so that's a new skill. So this will be the basic infantry unit, and it will have a walking and attacking animation. So, yeah. Then the next one will be an officer unit. This unit will be able to control one or two, or maybe several more infantry units. And you see I'm struggling with the design, but I ended up selling for a uh, badge on the left chest and a belt buckle. Next up is the commander. Now this will be able to control more units and maybe control officers as well. I did a slightly different badge uh, along with a hat on the top. Next up, what I did is I made a messenger unit or maybe a cavalry unit. Some, something that goes faster than other units. For this design, I did a single stripe for cavalry and also removed some other features to make it look faster. So all in total, we have four basic units to start off with. Uh, next up will be the enemies. So for the enemies, I only decided to do two of them, um, an infantry and an officer one. I will be able to do more later on, but I just to set, up, set on those two for now. The design for the enemy will be completely the same as the regular units, but uh, the color scheme is switched. I settled on a six color color scheme for um, the infantry and a four color one for the ground. I wanted to make the color palette as small as possible in order to make sure that colors don't contrast a lot and the battle scene doesn't look like uh, too much of a mess. For the ground, I just added some green and put some texturing on top of it. And after all that's done, I just export everything and started working on learning Godot. Video, I'm gonna be showing you guys so I watched this very helpful uh, introduction to Godot. I'll link button. that in the description. And I started working on the basic premise. So after figuring out how to add tile maps, I added a very basic ground, layered some texturing on top of it. It doesn't look the best right now, but it would do. And also make sure that it fits in the 16 by 9 ratio for the camera. After that, I started adding some infantry units. So added in, get some collision done, and also added some animation. So I added one for walking, one for attacking. They're just two frame animations that repeat, and yeah, it should be pretty simple. Then I started into scripting. So first, I want to do some teams, uh, set up a speed attack, and the movement will be target based. So every cycle or so, the unit will have a different target. And this could be like the position of an enemy, the position of uh, what the officer tells the unit, or like the position, just a random one to patrol. And that will be generated via a function. And every frame, the unit will go to that position. And if they're already at the position, they will choose a new position to go to. So right now, since we don't have any officers implemented, it would just be patrol. So they'll pick a random position from uh, the allotted workspace, then it'll just go to there. Unfortunately, the way that I was moving the units doesn't seem to work as well. So after a little bit of bugging, I realized the problem was I was setting a new target for the unit every frame. So that resulted in very uh, sporadic movement behavior. So after that's fixed, the unit moves like normal. So next up, I decided to work on the animation. So I had an animation player and I was actually having a little bit of trouble getting the animation to play because that was not explained within the video. So after a little bit of Googling, I got the animation to work and here's the end result. We have a bunch of units, they pick a point and they go to that point. And once they're at that point, they go to a new point. Now you see there's a little bit of collision in the middle and that is something to be worked on. But for right now, we have a working demo, so that, that's great. 
Uh, don't expect a lot of videos on this because I will be doing more of updates rather than devlogs. But other than that, uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates.